Welcome to the Perfection Selection of Cream of Cards TV. So, what is the link between Native Americans and 1920s flappers? All will be revealed later on in this video. But first, here are some rare and original 1930 trade cards of Native American Chiefs. I've always been fascinated by Native Americans, you can't deny it. They certainly are a very creative and interesting people. Early colourful cards like these were issued by many enterprising American companies. Some were even brought out during that epic Wild West era itself when the Native American still roams the plains. The very fact that a number of card sets were devoted to these culturally inspiring people just goes to show how much they enchanted and mesmerised the general public at a time before television, radio and the motion picture even existed. What is the connection between the nature-loving Native American and the self-indulgent 1920s flapper? Well, if you go to a 1920s inspired fancy dress party these days, I'm sure you would come across many sexy ladies sporting jazz age inspired headbands and feathers. You can't help but notice a strong similarity between the flamboyant flapper's headgear and that of the Native Americans. This isn't an image entirely dreamt up by the modern media. Here are several examples of early movie idols and fashion icons wearing feathery headgear on these more than 80 year old rare and original tray cards from the 1910s and roaring 20s. So not only were the Native Americans warriors, they also inspired a fashion revolution during one of the most culturally and creative times in the history of mankind. Like the swinging 60s, there was an explosion in creativity and experimentation in the roaring 20s that drew inspiration from many great cultures. Perhaps this was an antidote to the doom and gloom of World War I. Let's not be under any illusion, there was a commercial war going on, as companies fiercely competed in producing cards featuring the greatest celebrities and fashion trendsetters the world has ever seen, so that they could sell more of their products at the dawn of our cutthroat age of consumerism. Inadvertently providing us with one of the richest pictorial records of the transition from the old world to the new, where mankind went from riding around on horses to space travel in the blink of an eye. Please feel free to check out the largest collection of videos of the earliest movie tree cards in the world on my channel. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to come along to my card museum at creamofcards.com.